today for the Salvation Army. Um, we've got to get about 500 of them done today. We've been going since 10 a.m., so about three hours, and we're about 15 hours, so hopefully we can get done. I'm Major Jim Betts. I'm the General Secretary here for the Greater New York Division of the Salvation Army. Today we're working on packing what we're calling the red box. Now some of the boxes are red, some of the boxes have red on them, but essentially we're putting Christmas in a box. A good amount of food to make sure that people have uh, food for the day for Christmas, as well as some fun things. There's some games in there, some coloring books, some toys, and some things for mom and dad, along with some, some gloves and mittens and hats and things that will keep them warm during this Christmas season as well. The Red Box campaign is really important to us. Not only does it give us an opportunity to, to help our neighbors who are in need, but it also gives us an opportunity to engage partners from around the community, people from around the community, people just like ourselves who want to help their neighbors, those that they know are struggling this year. Uh, the Red Box campaign gives us an ability to do that. Traditionally, the Salvation Army has raised money to help people at Christmas in a variety of ways. So many people are familiar with the Red Kettle. Uh, the Red Box enables us to help kind of fill in the gap for what the Red Kettle can raise. Nowadays, the Red Kettle is challenged somewhat with uh, people carrying less cash, people shopping more online. And so in order to, to raise the necessary resources, not only money, but the things that people need at Christmas time, the Red Box campaign gives us a new opportunity to do that. Hi, Robert. This is Denver Frederick. I'm Director of Development for the Salvation Army and the Greater New York Division. And this is our Red Box campaign, our first inaugural Red Box campaign. These boxes are stuffed with all different kinds of items. Foods, um, some fancy foods to really make the holiday special, toys, um, games, something for everybody in the family. And we were able to assemble the boxes in two different ways. We had a number of in-kind contributors who responded remarkably and, gener and very generously by providing us in-kind product at absolutely no cost. I'm talking about companies like Coca-Cola, Zyco Coconut Water, um, Minute Maid, Haynes, um, cream of wheat, just tons and tons of cream of wheat. So that is really the essence and the central part of the box. In addition to that, hundreds of people stepped forward to make a $65 contribution to help us complement the rest of the box. So we now have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boxes. They're going to leave here tomorrow morning. They're going to be going to all throughout New York City. And then ultimately we're going to have two other trucks, one going to the Hudson Valley to places like Yonkers and Poughkeepsie and Newburgh uh, and Spring Valley up in Rockland County. And another one is going to go out towards Long Island, to Island Park, where we have our Sandy Recovery Long-Term Center. 300 boxes are going to go out there, all the way to Suffolk County, out to Riverdale, to uh, Westbury, and all throughout Greater New York. Distribution will occur on December 20th, which will be Friday, and the beginning of next week, December 23rd and 24th, that families will have their Christmas made extra special with this Red Box campaign, Christmas in the Box. And I think it's a compliment. Um, the, red, uh, the, the red kettles are really the essence of the Salvation Army. I think they're part of the American mosaic, part of the American tradition, and millions of dollars come to them in Greater New York every single year. But then we had an idea, wouldn't it be nice to take that red kettle theme and have a compliment to it, which is a red box. And where the red kettles take money in, the red box is actually giving something to somebody, it's giving them Christmas in a box. So we think the two work very well together. And honestly, I think a lot of our donors like to be able to, to take their dollars, put it into the contents of a box, and aside from the wonderment of helping the Salvation Army, now they can have that, that satisfaction of directly helping make Christmas special for one single family. Hi, this is Denver Frederick. I'm the Director of Development of the Greater New York Division of the Salvation Army here in New York City. Actually, we're in the Bronx right now. We're at one of our facilities called Franklin's Women's Shelter, and we are packing boxes up as fast as we can in time for Christmas. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of boxes which will be distributed out to the Greater New York area in time for Christmas. I can't thank BallisStatus.com enough for being here, helping us get the word out, and thanks so much for showing up today. The S's on our uniforms stand for being saved by God to serve our neighbors. We've got two hours left. We're almost at our goal. Um, we're at 300, so we're almost there. My name is Lieutenant Rohan Gage. I'm the co-officer and pastor at the Brownsville Salvation Army. Well, today we had, uh, we had a distribution of the red box. Um, we distributed about uh, 200 red boxes to um, parents and families in uh, daycare, and our after school program. We have around about um, 45 children in our daycare, and then we have about 100 and uh, roughly 137 in our after school program. Um, I think the, the Red Box is a very, very good um, venture. Um, 
this is, I think, the first time that they've actually distributed a red box. And one of the things that I like about it is not, you know, in the past, it, the focus is always on children getting gifts and things like that for Christmas. Um, this red box is for the whole family. I mean, there's something in there for everyone. And actually, sort of, it actually brings the family together. When I see the video in, in there and the CDs and different things in there, um, it kind of brings the family together. So uh, I'm glad that we were able to capture this for the family. And it, it kind of brings hope to the family this Christmas. My name is Lieutenant Rohan Gage. I'm the pastor and co-officer at the Salvation Army Brownsville Worship and Community Center. I would like to thank Paul Status for helping us spread the hope and good news this Christmas.